If you want to be the best, you got to start somewhere. Yeah, this is me. Quite the amateur. You might ask yourself, what made you decide to be a pro? Well, maybe the decision was made for me. Now, I weren't always a master baiter. I started out just like most of you, fiddling with my rod where nobody else could see me. But look at me now. I'm a master angler, a master baiter, and goddamn it, a champion bass trophy hunting some bitch. Hey guys, in all seriousness though, I hope you follow me on this journey to becoming a professional video game angler. So I'm starting career mode. One of my real life dreams is to actually do a fishing tournament, maybe win a few, I don't know. I'm not that great, but how do you get great? By doing it. Uh, however, I have so many obstacles in my way that it's just easier to pop in a game like this and uh, get my fix. Also, it's just now turning springtime, which means in my geographical location, it's getting re like perfect fishing time. Weather's great. So now I can start getting out again. Uh, I live in an area where it's seasonal, so for me anyway. I could bundle up and go out in the cold, but I don't. Anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, start an amateur bass tour. And uh, we're going to go from there. See how far I can get. See if I can get sponsored. All that good stuff. And uh, catch some big old bass. Uh, if you checked out my review video, like I said, this is pretty basic, pretty simple. It's it's not like an in-depth simulator. It's more of a scratch the itch simulator. But I'm enjoying it. And once you start getting the controls down, uh, the fishing becomes pretty natural. So it has that going for it. But like I said, I've just, I want to, I want to be in a tournament myself. I want to get a sponsorship, but you know, until Bass Pro Shop sees these videos and goes, oh, what's up, buddy? You want to be our professional online angler? And then I'm be like, well, technically, I want to be a real life angler. How about you guys hook me up with one of those two person Bass Pro Shop exclusive paddle boats, the pond prowler? paddle prowler i sure would love one of those me and my wife could go out there paddling and fishing in the name of bass pro shops wouldn't that be awesome husband and wife angling team on a paddle boat we just go out there and rip some fat sollies taking everybody out there on their expensive fancy bass boats with their fucking what's it called fish finders and depth finders and all that sonar equipment and we're just out there paddling and and flinging rods the dream one of many dreams i'm gonna die with a whole bunch of dreams that never saw the the light of day games books stories inventions oh my god i'm gonna start recording them so that when that does inevitably happen at least there'll be a recording of all my good ideas but for now, we're just going to stick with this one, which is the best idea I've had in the last 36 hours. 
and we're gonna pop into this career mode like I keep saying and uh, we'll just get at it now personally I've only been on a bass boat I think one time in my life fishing I've only fished from a, a John boat like two or three times the majority of my fishing has been dock shore and then more recently the kayak fishing which I flip and love kayak fishing like don't get me wrong boats are cool boats are fun boats are fast it's great to get on the water and just big but they're loud they take gasoline they pollute the water they make a bunch of noise and like scare the fish and shit so I like my my kayak I can take my kayak anywhere the smallest little creek the like, I can get places where nobody can get I can get out of my kayak and climb up on a bank that nobody can get to and fish you know things like that so I really enjoy the kayak fishing it's also like when you look at the pricing it starts to get a little weird because it's like you can go on Facebook marketplace and get like a twelve hundred dollar decent boat uh hopefully decent or you know you could go to the store and get a six hundred dollar kayak that'll work for years or you can get a fifteen hundred dollar freaking kayak that at that point you're like wait should i just get a boat but if you get a boat, you got to have a trailer. You got to have like, you got to register that shit in the state that I live in. You have personal property tax. So if you register something like that, you got to have pay taxes on it every year. Like then if you have a trailer, you got to get licensed. That's the same thing. Taxes on the trailer license, blah, 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 man, the land of the free. Am I right? Am I right guys? Fucking got to get your fishing license and you got to get fucking registered for this and that you can't uh i love conservation and in my state the conservation department is probably the premier in the world conservation department we probably honestly i think we started the conservation movement in america besides theodore teddy theodore roosevelt who is one of my favorite presidents. I don't know if y'all got favorite presidents or not, but he's up there. You should read about him. Theodore Roosevelt. He was one of the few manly men, probably the last man to be president of our country. If I'm being honest, these guys that we've had for the last 50 years are fucking pretending to be men. They're fucking walking vaginas in suits with dollar signs. They're fucking... ATM machines is what they are. Anyway, fishing, am I right? So, one of the great things about this is I don't have to worry about protecting myself from the sun. Just get out here, throw a couple lines, and it's tournament rules on this one, so top five, most weight, wins the game, and that's it. You just, you got 20 minutes, you got 20 minutes to catch as many fish as you can and get the highest weight. Uh, I like to start fishing on the dock and then that usually gives me a good, like sometimes, you know, you never know. What if you catch a game winner right there off the dock? So I usually rip a few off the dock and then I just do what I would do in real life. I go find a place that looks like fish might be there and I start throwing lines and seeing what happens now one benefit to the video game is you get the underwater camera on your lure so you kind of get to see what kind of fish are around and if there's a lot of fish around i'll just keep fishing that spot until i catch something uh when it comes to actual in-game tips uh so far i pretty much found one bait that just works and i just use it over and over and over uh, I've caught things on several baits because I keep, you know, winning money or whatever and, and buying equipment and upgrade thinking I'm upgrading, but I keep going back to the same uh, green pumpkin squiggly worm. That seems to be the best. You just throw your throw your reel speed at like two, cast it out as far as you can and just constant keep it held and 
they seem to love that fish or that uh that bait uh now i am only fishing bass for this tournament and i know in the game it's definitely like if you want to catch other fish other species you definitely want to like play to their favorites but i'm just catching bass for this tournament and i'm telling you man that little squiggly worm is just catching everything so you won't see me switch it up too much to be quite honest but you know what just like real life when something works why switch it up why change it you don't speaking of when something works in real life i have so many lures and so much tackle this year because i didn't get to use any of the stuff from my mystery tackle box opening series that i did so i've still got all of that stuff from mystery tackle box that i haven't used and that's going to be my goal this year uh my wife would not let me buy any more boxes i was like i kind of want to get some more tackle boxes and open them and she's like bruh you got a pile of boxes and you haven't even used any of that tackle so i'm gonna use that tackle and don't tell my wife but i'll probably still buy some mystery boxes because it's really fun to open them and uh yeah that's what i've been doing thinking about fishing i'd love to just do something that gives me a chunk of money and then like sell all my ideas i was talking about i just sell all my dreams to, to the lowest bidder I just want a fucking house a small little property that has some water feature if it's lakeside or riverside I don't care I live in a place where that's pretty easy to get and it's affordable so I'm not looking for some weird Malibu mansion I'm, I just want a small little place for my family so that we can never have to worry about any of that I didn't have a house growing up I didn't live my family I had a single mom I didn't have a dad in my life that's why I play fucking fishing games because that's one thing I wish this game had they should have fucking added in a digital dad or grandpa to take you I didn't have either of those things I had a single mom who had uh, been raised by a single mom who had three daughters so it was all chicks it was me my brother and my sister and then all chicks. So I was pretty much raised by women. Somehow, I didn't confuse myself like a lot of these kids these days. No, I knew I was a dude. I was a straight white dude. I liked chicks. I was raised by chicks. Gave me a good insight to chicks. I'm gonna keep saying chicks because chicks don't like that. Well, they didn't used to, but now nobody cares because we don't even know what chicks are anymore. You know anyway what was i saying this is like the longest cast ever i think i might edit this down a little bit starting right now It's around this point that I realized I can switch my uh, my tackle, my bait, my or my rod setup. You got three rod combos in your tackle box. Uh, you can also switch the way that you cast. There are three or four casting styles, which eventually I discovered that. And I like the side cast. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. So I eventually just kind of stick with that when I get to that point. However, tournament started out real slow as you can see i've only got four pounds on the board real low down there top fish hannah riley is sitting at 10 pounds you know what's funny about country dudes hannah could be a boy <laughs> how are rednecks so fucking tough and badass but then they'll go and name their kid Susie or something some name their boy some fucking billy joe wait i knew a girl named billy joe B 
Billy Sue. Damn, I don't know. I'd be living in some rural areas in my lifetime. Meet some interesting characters. So, this is what fishing is like in real life, except for you're, you know, out there alone, enjoying the peace and quiet. But that's uh, this is pretty accurate. A lot of a lot of throwing rods and getting nothing out of it. I really thought this spot on the map just looked like a good, a good fish spot, and you know, clock's running down. I got seven minutes seven minutes to win this thing i don't think i could do it i don't think i could do it do you think i can do it we'll find out oh oh what's this is he gonna get it is he gonna get it now at this point i had not really figured out how to fish between the tension and the drag i just know when the warning sign pops up it's bad and so i lost that fish could have been a game winner. I imagine that the tournaments in the game are much easier than the tournaments are real. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Like I said, that worm. They love that worm. And from this moment on, I'm going to use this worm. Now I just have to get better at fishing so I quit losing my fish. So what I started doing was just moving the drag up and down while reeling. So when it started banging like that, I'd start lowering the drag and that seemed to work pretty well. But eventually I figure out how to fish for real. Whoo, baby. What's that about a five pounder? 414. <sighs> this game is actually pretty good to the point that like, I honestly can start eyeballing, eyeballing what size they are. Just like in real life, like you, I usually within a couple ounces or a pound, the either way. But um, I'm really in, enjoying the uh, simplicity of it all, you know? Look at that. They're loving this worm. God, I wish it was like this in real life. For me, anyway. So, if anybody has any interest in fishing, Hit me in the comments. If you like that kind of thing, tell me what you got going on. Tell me about your setups, your rigs, what you like fishing. Uh, since I, like I previously stated several times, didn't have a father figure or man in my life to teach me, uh, I did watch a lot of PBS Bass Pro Tours and shit like that on, on TV growing up because we didn't have cable and it was before the internet, so... I think it was like Sundays. There was a lot of fishing tournaments going on, golf and fishing. So I used to watch a lot of that. And uh, like I said, I've been a few times. I had a stepdad took me fishing, and that was really fun. But like, I didn't really get into it until my later years. Seems like when you get a certain age, you start going, "Oh man, I used to love doing this. Oh man, I wanted to do this, and I never got to." And then you do those things if you can. So that's where I've been. And fishing is one of those things where it's like simple, it's quiet, it's outside. I've always loved it. Uh, you can feed yourself, you know, you can catch and cook. That's something I want to do tournament. I want, I want to win something, man. I want to, I don't even have to win. I just want to place. I want to be in a tournament and then I want to do some catch and cook. I watch a lot of YouTube videos some ca of catching cooks and people just surviving, and I love that shit. Like, I could go right now outside and survive. I just don't do it, because I have family and kids, and I'm too poor to be able to leave them without it being a problem, because we have to get, like, babysitters and organize things, and it's a pain in the ass. And right now, we only have one car, and that is a car, and that car cannot carry my kayak. We had to sell our vehicle that carries kayaks because that vehicle was getting too expensive to upkeep and so we just had to sell it and we have not been able to replace it because we're poor and 
poor people rely on things like tax returns. And for some reason, the government's being really shady this year. And they, instead of giving it to us, they're like, ah, we're going to look at this a little closer. We're, we need 60 fucking days. We need 60 days. And if we don't get to it, let us know and we'll tell you if we're going to get to it. And I'm like, that's never happened before. That's weird. So anyway, that's a lot about my personal life that probably didn't need to be shared. But hey, here we are. Six pounds. Woo! Trophy catch right there, buddy. That's a trophy. Uh, let's move on. I think I just won my first tourney. Guys, that was the end of the first round. Uh, it just automatically ends it. I was in the middle of catching another Fat Sally. But, looks like we won 19 pounds total. Won by 2 pounds on that challenge. Got first place. Got 100 points in the bracket or whatever you call it. We are not sponsored by anyone, but hopefully we'll change that. Hey, I got 200 followers. Holy crap. <clears throat> if I could just get 200 followers, well, 200 more. Hey, guys, I'm almost at 420. When I hit 420 subscribers, I'm going to do like a live stream, high stream. I'll just, I'll get a bunch of like edibles. And it's legal in my state. It's legal and I have a medical card because I'm a crippled asshole. So don't worry about that part. I'm going to get a bunch of fucking accoutrement. That includes THC. And I'll do like a real long high stream when I hit 420. Alright? When I hit 420. So, we are... I think I'm like... 40? 30 something away from 40? 400? And then 20? So, we with 60. 60 subscribers. If we hit 60 subscribers... Heck, if we could do that real quick... We might even be able to make this happen on 420. 420 subscribers with a 420 live stream, high stream. That'd be fun, right? Maybe I'll do another fishing tournament. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If you are uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. As always, you know I love you. And uh, get out there and do some fishing. If you like this game, if you like fishing in real life, if you just want to say, hey, what's up? Comments down below, guys. Uh, I'm always responding to them. A lot of people don't comment, and some people comment some weird shit, like not even sentences, and I I respond to those too. So hit me up. Love you guys. Bye. Bows on the base. Oops. Bows on the bass tournament winner. Yeah. What is that called? Round one. Uh. Uh. I don't know what it's called. There's like four different spots I gotta finish. So. There we go. On our way to getting sponsored. On our way to getting a trophy. Once again, love you guys. Bye. Hey, uh, your mom wants you to subscribe if you could, please. Thank you.